Well, hey everybody. It's been a long time since I've gone live on, on, uh, on Facebook. And this is Gary Trahey. And most of you are probably used to me doing this. I haven't done it in probably about five to six months. So a lot of, it, a lot of things have happened in the last five to six months. And uh, with me, I was living in California the last time I actually aired. And, uh, and I'm, uh, I was living in California and from California. And my buddy Kevin is on. And, uh, and so I uh, was living in California in Temecula. And, and Debbie, my Debbie Disney, she's on. And uh, so I was living in California and I moved to uh, Colorado. And now I'm in Wyoming, in Cheyenne, Wyoming. There's no place like Wyoming, folks. There's no place at all. So, hey, Jason, how you doing, brother? And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just getting back. I'm not coming back as the keto chef. And we're going to be doing some changes. I'm going to be changing my show around. I'm going to be calling it Getting Hot with Chef Gary. I'm pulling away a little bit from the, from the, from the keto side of it. We're going to be doing, I'm going to explain a little bit more. Um, we're going to be doing uh, more normal cooking. And I'm going to be doing paleo and keto alternatives. As you know, my cat is still here because I think you can hear. But my friends, this is what I'm doing tonight, okay? So we're having a little bit of alcohol. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing, um, I love Moscow mules. And a lot of people don't know how to make really good Moscow mules. And I just want to show you how I do my Moscow mules because I'm really particular about it. Is I went out and got these from Amazon. Four of these for $18. If you want, I'll post the Amazon thing for you. But really, really good. So you get the copper. A lot of people don't know why you use copper. Copper conducts cold really, really well. And um, so um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to show you, and I think you all can see what's going on. And all I'm doing is I'm just pouring vodka in. Because I'm just going to be really, really honest with you. If you really think you want to measure a shot of vodka, go ahead, waste your time. I don't care. I'm not. So, what over here? So, in here, I have, oh, I filled it up probably about that much with vodka. I have some roses lime juice, and it's a sweet roses lime juice. And I'm just going to put in probably, oh, I would say about, oh, half a teaspoon. And I put that in there. Now, let's talk about ginger beer. Only three ingredients in this stuff, folks, for, for, um, uh, uh, for Moscow mules. But ginger beer is really important, okay? You can get some really bad ones out there. Research out your ginger beer, okay? It's really, really good. This one has a really good sharpness, and I don't know if you can see the name on it. I can't even. It's Bundaberg. Bundaberg. It's a really good one. So I really, really like it. And so all you do is I just take this one. Pull the lid, give her a little bit of a fill up, and then I give her a little bit of a stir, and a lime wedge. And folks, that is a Moscow mule, okay? Really simple, really, really easy. It is so good, and I just love it. The glass with the, I mean, with the copper really makes it really, really nice. I absolutely love it. I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I, I cut back a lot on my drinking, but absolutely. Uh, hey, Tommy, how you doing? Love Moscow Mules. I could literally have one all night. But what I want to do tonight is I'm going to be cooking a lot this weekend. I'm really, really in a... How you doing, Donna? I'm really in a, um, a cooking mood since I moved back, and I just kind of got settled in this place, and kind of working around it. And like I said, what we're going to be doing is changing around the show and we're going to be doing more normal style cooking. I'm pulling back from the name Keto, the Keto Chef and um, I'm going to be doing a uh, call Getting Hot with Chef Gary. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I'm getting ready and I'm going to be doing a bunch of shows tomorrow. And um, so what we're going to be doing, what I'm doing is I'm just going to be doing, um, uh, how you doing Donna? And I'm just making a blue cheese dressing. Funny story about blue cheese dressing. My buddy that I work with at, at the Plains Hotel, Patsy, beautiful, beautiful girl. She is gorgeous. She's one of my favorite people, and I work with that. I work with a whole bunch of people. 
But Patsy and I are, are salad fanatics. And we can literally almost go out and eat salad every day. And there's one place, it's called The Ribbon Chop, here in Cheyenne. They make awesome, awesome, hey Cindy, been a long time. They make awesome salads and they make the best blue cheese dressing. So I make really good blue cheese dressing, but I make my version. So tonight what I'm doing is I'm getting ready and I'm going to be making my meals for the week. So uh, tomorrow I'm making chilies and all different kinds of stuff. So, but I'm making my blue cheese dressing. So I figured why not? I haven't done a show in a long time. Let's make some blue cheese dressing. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, oh, let's say about two cup, about cup and a half of, cup and a half of mayo. And this is a really, really easy, easy recipe. Okay, folks? Real easy recipe. And, um, and then I'm going to take probably, oh, let's say about a cup and a half of sour cream. Real, real simple, real easy. I never use, um, uh, I never use um, uh, low fat, never. If you're going to eat, eat, just eat less. Okay, so, and you know, and it's really not within, I try to cut back on, on my carbs, and that's what I work on, and so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the um, sour cream and the mayonnaise, and I'm just going to mix it together. I have about a half a cup, excuse me, about one, uh, one and a quarter cup of sliced green onions. I'm going to throw those in there. I'm also going to throw in, I have a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm also going to throw in a half teaspoon of kosher salt. In here, I, you all remember from the show the last time, I used, um, somebody's saying, so I need to put my glasses on so I can see what you all doing. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Hi, Mary Beth, it's been a long time, huh? So I have my, my gar processed garlic, and I'm only going to put in about a tablespoon of processed garlic. And so... I'm only going to do that, and and because what I'm going to do is let me just tell you, I like to do different combinations uh, from you remember from my show. And by the way, this is not the Executive Keto Chef show, Chef Show anymore. This is now called Getting Hot with Chef Gary. And but right now we're doing cold, so it's okay. So I have uh, some granulated garlic here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in one tablespoon of fresh garlic. So I have one tablespoon of pureed garlic and a tablespoon of fresh garlic. It's going to be freaking awesome. And for those of you, go back to the beginning and watch the show. I made Moscow mules, how I make them. Oh my God, they're freaking good. You guys should come over. Michael, you should come over and have a Moscow mule. Okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these ingredients and really pretty much um, I'm just going to blend this because I like to blend the thing, blend stuff together. I'm going to show you what I'm doing so you can see what I'm doing. I like to blend stuff together and, and be able to do things so that way everything has really, really good flavor and everything's done in levels and sides. Okay, this is my blue cheese dressing I'm making. Folks, this is gorgeous. If you're going to make chicken wings, you're going to do it on salad. You can put this on, um, do it for a side for beef. You can put this on chicken. Folks, if you're going to do roasted potatoes, Pull those potatoes out of the oven or roasted cauliflower. If you're in paleo and you're in keto and you're doing roasted, hey Ty, how you doing? Hey Larry, um, and if you're doing, if you're in keto or you're in, in paleo and you're doing roasted cauliflower, throw the blue cheese salad dressing that we're making right on there, okay? So I have that there. Now what I'm also going to do is because of the fact I'm an absolute freak is I love horseradish. And this is a little kick. You don't have to do this. I'm adding, oh, let's just do one tablespoon. Okay, one tablespoon of horseradish. Now, that's going to add a little bit of heat and a little bit of flavor. You can add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to this if you want. But, folks, when you're doing the blue cheese and you're going to add a little bit of horseradish, let it set for a couple hours in the fridge after you're done because that horseradish is going to grow. And if you like horseradish, you can add a little bit more after it sets depending on what flavor you like. I personally like horseradish, so I'm going to add a little bit more later. So I have that. And then I went to the grocery and I got some blue cheese. And I bought some of this. It was on sale. The crumbled gorgonzola. It's five ounce container. So I'm adding in. I love, if you're going to have blue cheese, make sure there's blue cheese in it, folks. Okay? So I have that in there. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this really. 
It's so incredibly, incredibly chunky. It is out flipping rageous, folks. No kidding. Hey, Marianne, how you doing? And uh, so this is what it is. And folks, this is really, really good stuff. So I gave you the recipe. We're going to be redoing stuff. Once I get things settled tomorrow, I'm going to do another show. Right now, the uh, myketochef.com is, um, we're going to be redoing that. But right now, I'm just going to be doing shows on here. I'm just going to have some fun. And just to be able to do that, um, I just want to give this a little taste. Folks, that already freaking tastes amazing. Now, you make your blue cheese, throw it in Tupperware, throw it in the refrigerator, let it sit in the refrigerator for about, oh gosh, a day. Overnight. I don't care what you do. Okay? Let's sit there all day. That horseradish, that already has a great horseradish flavor. That horseradish and that blue cheese is going to grow so nicely. And it's so freaking chunky. Really, really good. And folks, let me tell you, this Moscow Mule, it's the hot diggity dog. I'm telling you right now. Hot diggity dog. If you never had a Moscow Mule, you got it. You got it. So, I made this, and I'm just going to let this set. I made enough right from here. It's going to be, I, you like Moscow Mules, Larry? And uh, so, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to let this set. You know something? I'm going to be having Patsy over for lunch when we have our lunch break at the hotel. And uh, I'm going to, uh, we're going to be having some salad. We're going to be macking it out over here. Okay, folks? It's going to be really, really good. So this blue cheese dressing is to die for. So, I hope everybody's been doing good. Like I said, it's been a really, really long time since I've been on here. It's been a really long time. My life has been very um, transitional. Uh, and it's, and it's going to be getting transitionally again, sadly. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. So, um, and, but I've got a lot of cool things going on. And uh, so I'm real hopeful. I'm real hopeful that hopefully soon enough things will settle down. But like I said, the Executive Keto Chef Show, um, focusing full, fully on ketogenics, I'm kind of moving that a little bit to the side. I'm changing the name, my name, to Getting Hot with Chef Gary. And uh, we're going to be doing lots of different things. Very diverse show. But we're going to be doing it also where we're going to be doing um, uh, uh, healthy alternatives for those that are in paleo and those that are in keto. Keto diet is very, very important, okay? So is the paleo diet. And I want people to be able to have those alternatives, to be able to do it. But I don't want to lose the people that don't, aren't in those diets. And you know something? People in paleo and in keto do normal food. It's just that they just, you know, they don't do it as often. Um, the kids from Fort <laughs> um, Thank you, Mary Beth. And so, uh, but you know, I, I just want to have some fun. I don't want to get stuck into one thing. And I just want to enjoy myself. So I'm going to be reformatting everything and I'll be doing it back. I'm really and glad I was hesitant about actually doing this and I'm glad I did. I thank you very much. And folks, watch the beginning of the show, Moscow Mules. It's how I do it. It's how I roll, babies. So it's really, really good. And gosh, it tastes so darn good. And of course, my blue cheese dressing. If anybody's making wings, you got to make my blue cheese dressing. It is to die for, okay? Just let it sit for a day, all right? Just let it sit for a day. Now, I'm also going to be having people coming on, and I'm going to have my buddy Ty. Ty lives in Colorado. He's just like an hour away. His mom is a rock star. Connie, she's awesome. She's one of my dearest friends, and Ty is an awesome, awesome cook. He has a web, he has a, a page on Facebook too, and he is just Really, really a great, he's very talented, he's a natural cook. And I'm going to have him on here, I want you to meet him. And he's a really great guy, he's just an hour away. And we're gonna, he's going to be coming up and, and we're just going to do like a weekend of cooking. So it'll be a great time, so you're going to love it, alright? Because he's really talented too. So I'm looking forward to it. Folks, I am Foodies United, go to Foodies United on um, in Facebook. You can even collect it through my personal page. It's a good time, folks. Okay, it's a real good time. So, this is Gary, Chef Gary in Cooking Hot with Chef Gary. Okay, and so, my friends, 
I really appreciate that, that you're welcoming me back. I want to be able to have fun with you and I want to be able to show you some real cool stuff. And I want to show it to you normal and I want to be able to show it to you on a healthier version and because there's, there's a balance. There's a balance. And everybody is not 24-7 on a diet all the time. And if they are, oh well. Um, then good. But I want to be able to hit everybody and do healthy alternatives. So, hello, my friend Mary. I love you. And uh, my friend Mary, she's just catching the tail end. I'm getting ready to sign off. Mary, look. I made my, my world-famous blue cheese dressing with horseradish. And Mary, look. Moscow mules. Really, really good. So, folks, I'm getting ready to sign off. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to cook a little bit more tomorrow. Look forward to my buddy Ty coming on. And, and, and we'll talk to you all soon, okay? Take care. Thanks a lot for joining me. By the way, this is Gary Trahey from Cooking, Getting Hot with Chef Gary. Take care.